Careful, Mary. It's full. Don't spill it. Don't worry, I won't. It's very good. Say hello to your mother for me. Yes, thanks. Hey, Mac. Hey, Mac. No, no, let me alone. Let her alone. He should know better than get mixed up with those boys. Please, no. Let me go. Hey, friend, I'm looking for a Look at that! Those boys ought to get run out of town, if you want my opinion. Let's go! Can I have this dance? Let me go! Why don't you stop? No. <laughs> That's better. I hate noise. I'm looking for a couple of fellas. Maybe you've seen them. One of them is a... Return to uh, to our to our Lord who created us. So shall the just. 
So shall the uh, sinkers. <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> Sinners. Just our luck. I wanted to find him alive. But instead, somebody got to him first. How am I going to find your two friends now you've been murdered, you filthy son? <clears throat> Sheriff or bandit, once dead, we're all the same in front of God, who is our law. Five dollars. Well, that's that. Five dollars. Uh. Uh. Give me the name of the hall in this on it. Holy Moses. Hand on the quick ass key. Give me that mercy. Son of a monkey. <laughs> Very touching. Must be strange to watch your own funeral. Eh? Hey! Yeah. I was saying it must be very strange to watch your own funeral. I'm not sure about that, but I'm telling you this. You put a hand on that coffin and I'll blow your brains out. Remember what I've already told you. Don't ever go near that dough. Don't you trust me? I don't trust any man, and you especially. And I never found a man that trusted me either. My poor pa is the one that taught me that your best friend is the first one to stab you in the back. That's the right way to live. To hell with your friends. Take the one! Take the 
I'm not a man, I'm a Portuguese. I'm the best I got. Hey, Porky, wake up and listen. Here's the tank. They were all betting on you. Oh, yeah? You all right? Uh, tell Bowers not to hit so hard the next time, huh? Uh -huh. Oh. Porky, you kill me. Take it easy, Portuguese. Unless you want to hear the sound of my gun. Last time it was a little bit out of tune, no? Did you hide that $200,000, you Portuguese maverick? Oh, uh, yeah, moan a little. It'll do you good. Be careful what you tell me. No man likes to be swindled. Yeah, and you a lot less than the others. Right, Coronel? Right. And don't try anything. I'd hate to have to kill the only friend I have left now that Roy's dead. <laughs> Roy dead? What do you mean, dead? He's more alive than you and me. They only put a hole in his belly while we was trying to get away. He sent me for a doctor, and when I got back, he was gone, the son of a bitch. Look, Coronel, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm sure. But you better make the story convincing. Up to now, I don't believe a word of it. You mean Roy pulled a fast one? Yeah, that's right, because I don't have the money. Roy has it all, Coronel. Look, I... I wouldn't take these rotten fights for a few lousy bucks. Eh? Still partners? That depends. Keep talking. Listen. I've traced him this far. I'm pretty sure I know where he is hiding. You know, Glenn, you're a smart kid. I would never have thought of making him think I was dead. Hey, Roy, we murdered them. Sure did. <laughs> really like to see the faces of the Colonel, the Portuguese, right now. They never suspected I'd fool them. I'm beginning to think you try to fool me, too. With a bullet in my belly, I'm the one to be suspicious. You're the guy who told me not to trust anybody. That's right. The only person I trust is that woman I told you about. She's the only one. If you go on like this, keep on losing blood. I'm afraid you'll never see her again, partner. Sure, partner. Only at 20 percent. No more. 20 percent. We need a doctor. Oh. I know one who lives near here, Stanton. No embarrassing questions. He can take a bullet out of you without knowing how it got in. You know, you're fortunate that you got me. Very fortunate. I'm grateful to you, Glenn. Thank you, sir. I'll be back as soon as possible. Morning, you. Go find me a doctor. But if you go back to the cemetery and try to dig up that $200,000, I'll kill you. I will spend the rest of my life looking for you. Well, 
Believe it or not, my father taught me always to be an honest bandit. You're right. You're like your father. He was an all right guy. We pulled off some beauties together. Some real beauties. The Waco Savings and Loan Association. That was a honey. Glenn. Glenn, watch out. Don't worry. I've got a good memory. A colonel with a big ring over his glove and a fat Portuguese. Hurry up, will you? We'll make it to Mexico. For a while. When we come back, all will be forgotten. How's life, Roy? You don't look bad for a corpse. Right, Roy? Porky says you've been looking for me. He says you wanted to find me to give me my share. And mine. Where is he? Is this a joke? You bring me all the way out here and there's no patient. I don't get it. You think I got nothing better to do than ride around the countryside looking for sick people? <laughs> you wake me up and drag me out of bed only to find there's no one here. You tell me it's an emergency, all right, then where the devil is a damn patient? Oh, my, you're going to have to pay for this visit anyway. Just as we agreed, you hear? Because I don't waste my time for nothing. It's not my fault that there isn't any patient. Don't try to wiggle out of it. You're going to have to pay me what you said or I'll report you to the sheriff. Well, partner, you just can't trust anybody anymore. Dirty trick, ain't it? But you were right. <laughs> if I'd only used my brains, I'd have figured out you'd try to pull a stunt like this. The minute a man turns around, a low-down skunk stabs him right in the back. <laughs> oh, you thought you were being so smart, didn't you, Roy? Pretending you were dead. <laughs> Hiding the money in this miserable place. I'm as smart as you are. That's why I took your horses along with me. Just to make sure you didn't get here first. Another little trick my father taught me. And to think he thought well of you. I kept my word. Well, too bad for you. Now, 
Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'll open this coffin. Take the two hundred thousand dollars. And then wait for you. You or I have opened the coffin and see that it's empty. Surprise. <laughs> I hope you like the surprise. And then once it's over, I'm gonna kill you and leave you right here. That's right. That's just what I'm gonna do to you, Roy. said anything about going all that way barefoot. Hey, don't take the horse. Leave him at least or I'll die. You don't want that to happen, do you? Sure, Partigy, why not? You're a double crosser. Roy was right. <laughs> double crosser? I better let you have these. Murderer! Enjoyed my performance, eh? <laughs> Son of a gun. I was looking for two basses, and I think I just found one of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry we cannot have a long talk. I, I don't know which bastard you are talking about. You could mean me, but I don't know who you are, and I'm too much in a hurry to listen. Yeah. to see me again, did you? 
but that's life. You can unbuckle your gun belt and holster and do it right now. I'm too soft, Portuguese. Next time I'll leave you your boots, but I'll cut your feet off. There ain't gonna be no next time. This is where you get off. I hope you like the place, for this is where you are going to stay, right here. What are you going to do? Shoot me and start digging? Or start digging first and then? You'll dig your own grave. Hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Portuguese? The grave where I buried the 200,000. You buried them? That's right. And if you want to start digging all the way to Mexico, just pull that trigger. Okay, okay. What do you want? The half. Yeah. Uh, okay, you lousy coronel. If I show you where the money is, how do I know I can trust you? You might kill me afterwards. That's right. But you have no other choice, coronel. <laughs> No choice at all. You're right. No choice at all. Off. Yeah. How about you? Shall we split it, Coronel? Yeah. We'll split it 50 50. <laughs> okay. 50 50.
smart redskin. What you take me for, some kind of measly Mexicano? Hands up. That's right. Now get smart. Tell you what, you pay me two dollars, I bring you to the village. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Pin back, Pelface. Yeah. Sell your pistol? A gift from my father. Uh, great sentimental value. Well, nobody can say we didn't sweat over this. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Where are you going to spend your half? Oh. Come on, how are you going to blow it? Go someplace where nobody will knife you in the back. A place where a woman stands waiting for you with open arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got one with all the curves in all the right places. And she loves me. Huh? How about you, huh? Well, I've got one who really loves me, too. It may not last forever, but... Oh? It'll last as long as these will. Here. <laughs> Many thanks for the pistol. My gratitude to your father. Bye now. Believe me, sir, it was a mistake. A mistake? Yeah. A mistake. She's the mistake. No! No! Sir, there's no reason in the world for you to be angry. Ah! Stop it, please! 
damn you! A mistake. I say there's been a mistake. Please let me talk now. Otherwise, I'm apt to, to lose my temper. Oh. 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 Now, be a good no. boy. No, don't. Oh. Hey, Pete, there's a fight up in Jack's room. Come on. Can't you make a little less noise? Thanks, old man. It's nothing, but I've been trying desperately to get this beard off. Please, let's be quiet. <laughs> nice, real nice. You really know how to do it. Excuse me, I think I gotta be going. So long. I hope I see you again. Bye. Hey, Jack, did that fella break anything? No. Never mind about that ball gown, Helen. You ain't going to no ball. Come on. Can I help you, mister? Yeah, maybe. Do you happen to have one of these in my size? I don't think so, sir. Uh, give me some wool. I want to make myself a pair of winter underwear. Oh. Is Liz here? Liz, is the corn to see you? Oh, that's okay, dear. I'll take it yes, by surprise. Yes, what do you want, sir? Oh, it's... Run along, dear. Hey, Liz, what are you doing? I can't find my pants. They're hanging right next to the door, stupid. I can't find them. The Portuguese is here. Um. With curves all in the right places. So it was you. I can't find them. Did you sell them to somebody? Listen. <laughs> 
make a girl laugh, and you know the funniest little story. <laughs> All you've done since you got here is tell silly jokes. Ah, they are not so silly. I wouldn't joke about marriage. Wouldn't you be happier if you sold a shop and we could get married? You're being stupid and <laughs> romantic. I like my little shop. Besides, I don't want to sell. The work's hard, but I like it, and you couldn't possibly take care of me. After all, love isn't everything. <laughs> A girl likes security. I am a rich man. Don't worry, I can take care of you. <laughs> I'm very rich. Oh, Portuguese, come on. A dollar bill is the most you ever saw at once. And don't tell me differently, you big pluck. You don't know what money is. You never had any. And whenever you did, then somebody took it away. <laughs> no, I've got a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand. Do you hear me, Liz? Isn't that enough for you? Well? Ah, I'm thinking. Yes, that'll be enough, thanks. Huh? <laughs> A hundred thousand. <laughs> I mean, it's marvelous if it's true, friend. It is about Texas's biggest robbery. It was two hundred thousand uh, dollars. Uh, but half of that a hundred thousand dollars was already owed, which I had to pay. <laughs> You're a big man, Portuguese. You're the kind of person who robs the bank any old time that he feels like it. I really go for a champion like you. Come on, open another bottle. Finally made it. What happened to you? Hmm. <gasps> Finally, I'm sorry you've been waiting. He's out. He drinks wine like a sponge, I swear to you. He went out just like a baby. Hmm? The fool will probably sleep till Saturday morning. I've never seen anyone drink the way he does. I mean, he just drank bottles and bottles. Oh, well, it wasn't exactly what you call exciting. It was like I wasn't even there. Don't give me that. You'll take on any man. Any man? The Portuguese just happens to be a pal of yours. Sure he is. It doesn't matter much. <sighs> <laughs> oh, girl, your beard tickles. <laughs>
sweet dreams, partner. You wanted to trick that stupid Portuguese. That was no trick. Finding him with you, I should have killed him. Maybe it's better having a drunk friend than a dead friend. <laughs> well, Liz, I'm afraid I'd better be going. No. Stay. Don't go. Must have. What about him? Oh, that one, don't worry. He won't wake up, not even if you shot off a cannon underneath him. <laughs> I better get going. When I come back, I'd appreciate finding your bed a little less crowded. If that Portuguese is ever here again, I'll kill him. Miserable dollars, that's all. It wasn't even worth killing them. Right. <laughs> well, say no more. I get the picture. He says a man just rode up on a good-looking horse with nice full saddlebags on each side. Don't fill in the grave yet. We can still use it. Yes, that will be easier. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a more rotten road to bring you to more rotten place. It's quiet here. Nice and quiet. Nice for people who want to get away from it all, eh? A glass of whiskey and stop asking me questions. Well, Wilkes. Wilkes, go up and get some for our friend here to eat. O'Hara, you get him some to drink. Uh-huh. Oh, hell, come here. Obey me. That's good. He's a good helper, but he's crazy. gun on the table. Uh-huh. I could kill you faster. Now 
Now, that's all right. Well, look who's here, our noisy friend. Well, have you been following me? It's not very difficult to follow a man who wears a ring like that. Why so interested? Better not do that. You want to know why I'm following you? For Roy's $200,000. Mm-hmm. I might have guessed. Was Roy a friend of yours? Mm-hmm. How come? I had 100,000 reasons to be his friend, and now I got 200,000. I see. And now he's a dead man. He just died. After all, he was nearly finished anyway. If Roy is a dead man, then somebody must have killed him. Anyway, he made him talk and took the money. What happened to Roy Fulton was what happens to any double-crosser. I wouldn't say anything. All right, let's see the satchel. Maybe it's a stupid question, but uh, would you settle for half? Yes, it's a stupid question. Mm -hmm. Let's see the satchel, Colonel. Open it. like a jackass either. You bet I am where my friends are concerned. He prepared it with Liz, that mercenary polecat. I want to kill him. Not for 200,000, but for... For a... I'll kill him for a dollar. Thanks for the information. I'll just hang on to these. For a noisy fellow, you take a lot of precautions. <laughs> I'll take your horse. If you want to follow me, you have to do it on foot. Are you a good walker? <laughs> when it's money I'm after, I'm a very good walker. Uh -huh. I've got to go and deliver a dress. It won't take a minute. Will you miss me, darling? Sure thing, pussycat. I'll get myself all pretty for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Come on, pussycat. You'll be 
sure it's tied in good. It is. Bye-bye, Liz. So long. Hey! Hey, Sheriff! They attacked the stagecoach. Where? At Shadow Rock. Frank Richards and his boys. Sam, Pete, get the men together. Hurry it up. Shave, mister. What are you doing here? I'm cutting your throat, friend. Are you nuts? Why? Mister, you're asking me why? Sure, I'm asking you. Portuguese, I told you beforehand. And you're asking me why. Here's why. You're a cheat, that's why. For this! Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No. I didn't. Some low-down polecat must have robbed me. Um, by the way, where were you? Stop asking questions. Listen to me. I want my hundred thousand. I haven't laid eyes on you since that time when we divvied up the money. When could I trick you? When I was with Liz is when. You... You let me believe you were drunk. Ah! You tried to trick me, you big... Unless... Unless... Unless the trouble came... From the woman you're sham. Yeah, who the hell he is? It seems he inherited Roy's money. Oh. You can be glad you're both alive. Drop your guns. Get in there, too, Barbara. Give him a bath. They need it bad. <laughs> He's worse than Roy.
was like white roses, and when he kissed her passionately, hmm. Upstairs. you're looking for. I saw her leave town an hour ago. She's the one. Find her and bring her back here. Right, Mr. Hartman. Jeff, Hank, come with me. Once I get the woman, I'll have the two men also. Stay out of sight. Someone might look in. Stay where you are and don't try anything. Take off your guns. You heard what he said? All right, boys, do what you're told. Well, Mr. Hartman. What a nice bunch of bastards. Thank you. But we're missing Roy Fulton. You knew he got killed. Oh, too bad. You were a fine team of bank robbers. Really excellent. It's nice of you to say so. And now Roy's dead. What a pity. Why at my bank? You did such a nice job. Uh, such a professional job. You're a pretty good bank robber yourself, Hartman. Only your arithmetic is a little off. 
One hundred thousand dollars for the three of us and a whole hundred thousand for himself. Not a bad pile, I would say. Yeah, that's right, and the insurance money, too. I'm beginning to see where your bank was almost broke. If you hadn't hired us to rob it, you'd be out of business. Never trust a bank. I was right to rob them instead of trusting my money in them. Now, since you've had your fun, I'll start. Unless you tell me where those $200,000 are. <laughs> what are we going to do? Let's have a little fun. There are only 12 of them. Take care of him. Ah. Ah. I suppose. How nice to see you. Congratulations. These gentlemen have excellent taste. You're very pretty. Even prettier than the Portuguese described you, my dear. I believe I'm right to think that you know something these gentlemen have been unable to tell me. I assure you that it's something I'd be glad to learn. Hmm. I can't imagine what that something can be. <laughs> I only found these few dollars on her. I didn't expect her to have the money with her. You see, she obviously left town in the hopes of putting us off the track. I don't know what you're talking about. A smart woman like you doesn't go out alone with $200,000. She would rather hide the money where nobody would ever look for it. Perhaps right here in her own little place. Go ahead and look, then. I hate violence, especially towards women. And then, when they are as beautiful as you are, it becomes even more difficult for me. But your friends leave me no choice. I'll have to make you talk. I've already told you I don't know anything. Do I have to say it again? I'll make you talk. One of you has the money. Isn't that true? I hope for your sake it is. Now. Who's going to talk? Whoever it is is going to talk to me. And they're going to do it right away. I thought that there was a hell of a lot of dollars at stake here. And now, me and the boys are going to get them. 
<laughs> well, well. There's always a bastard that beats the other bastards. You ain't any better than I am. Let's start over again, beauty. Where is it? I'm in no great hurry. I'll give you a whole minute. <laughs> Throw them back there. I'll take care of them later. Let's go. <laughs> Move it along. Sit down. How would you like a nice little scar, just like mine? Huh? Comfortable? got to agree. Shall we split it in six parts? Who is he? He says he's Roy Fulton's heir. But even if we take into consideration a share for the lady, there are only five of us. Mm-hmm. Well, am I right? Yes, that's it. But I want two shares. Or do you prefer to be killed by those gentlemen? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you want to talk now? My patience is running kind of thin. All right, you can have the money. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Misty Eyes, we got business to sell here. 
Hey, you! What are you doing? If you want to fight, you better get a gun. Oh, no, no, none for me. I detest shooting people. I, I just can't do it. Oh, Hartman, whose side are you on, anyway? Hey, boy. Give me some bullets. I'm out. Leave it where it is. That's pretty good work. Congratulations. I'm very grateful for this. Uh -huh. I've been looking for Frank Richards. He's been wanted for robbery over in Union City. Yeah. Hartman's Bank. You know, mister, there's a reward out for this fellow. If you tell me what your name is. Oh, uh... That's all right, Sheriff. Uh, thanks anyway, very much. I, I don't. Uh, a citizen's duty is to cooperate with the law. My word. Right proud to meet an honest person like you. May I 
go now. Sure, and thanks. Thanks a lot. Now, Mr. Hartman, if you just sign these papers, please. But, Mr. Higgins, they stole a lot more from me. Now, Mr. Hartman, our company always pays the very highest, the maximum amount in cases of robbery. Mm-hmm. Yes, what is it? It's Sheriff Hawkins, sir. He wants to see you. He says it's important. Later. Can't you see I'm busy? I just stopped by to return the money that was stolen from your bank, Mr. Hartman. Here you are, sir. Every last penny of it, safe and sound. Well, that's wonderful. How fortunate you are, Mr. Hartman. Yes, indeed. How fortunate I am. <laughs> I'm ready. Glenn? Aren't you ready to eat? You mean you feel like reading? <laughs> Honestly, look at you. This book is full of very good ideas. Dennis ready. My specialty. What could that be? Turkey. Turkey? Oh. Come on while it's hot. <laughs> Glenn, honey. Hmm? I imagine that the Portuguese and the Colonel are good and mad at us. Me, you together like this? <laughs> no. They're too busy. Mm -hmm. Imagine they proposed to me another bank robbery.
Howdy. Howdy. So you're joining the gang, if it's all right with you. Now, what about this Hartman? What about him? I say we go back for the money. Three men are enough. I haven't had any experience. You just wait a while. You'll learn. <laughs> what about the money? We'll divide it. But when? We'll come back here afterwards. Come on. Ha! 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 my husband died about a year ago. I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time. No, not at all, madam. You can tell me all about it, Mrs. Lush, Hazel Lush, Mrs. Hazel Lush. What can I do for you? Put your hands up, both of you, and don't play the hero. I won't. Coronel, the key. Open it. Come on. It's a pleasure to know my money is safe. <laughs> Easy. Last time you almost killed me. Never mind the change. Let's get out of here. Everything went fine, just like the last time. Yeah, and Hartman helped us to do it. <laughs> yeah, and Glenn was a big help, too. I thought he'd try to trick us. Yeah, I thought he would, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad. Isn't it? yeah, too I mean, bad. the way we ran out on Glenn with the money. <laughs> Boy, would I like to see his face when he finds out we've got it all. <laughs> yeah. But we'll be in Mexico by then, <laughs> won't we? Yeah. Nice day, isn't it? We were just looking for you. <laughs> How about that? A son of a... How did she... <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yeah, how did she? The old lady at the bank. Yeah. Of course, stupid. While you were picking up the change. Of all the... Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. This time, I'm going to yeah. put it all the ah. way in the bank. Yeah. Ha. Yeah! 